Everyman Driver Nation just arrived here at the headquarters, a 2016 Volvo XC60 T6 all-wheel drive. Now, at any point during this video, if you'd like to schedule a test drive of this car or any car and get a quote from a dealership of your choice in your zip code, click on the link below, fill out a short form. It's 100% free, no obligation to buy. It's just my way of helping you get the best deal on a new car or truck. With that, let's get started. Booyah! So under the hood is a two liter super and turbocharged direct inject engine mated to an eight speed Geartronic automatic transmission. This pumps out more than 300 horses, 295 pound feet of torque. Should be fun to drive this week, especially with the all wheel drive. And we are rolling on 19s. So here on the key fob, we have five options, lock, unlock. There is an automatic lift gate, as well as a headlight button there and a panic button there in the uh, the red. Now, I have not started the car, have not been in it. This is where the driver dropped it off today. So we're gonna go ahead and do a first impressions walk around of this car. Now I've driven some Volvos in the past, but it's been a while. Ooh, nice support around the ribs. Let's go ahead and start this thing up and explore the interior. Kind of a small screen right here. This is a seven inch LCD. We do have the platinum edition on this vehicle. So you can see a lot of extras here. Let's go ahead and look at the instrument cluster first. Beautiful center dial there. Some colors on the either side. Hit the gas. Well, that's cool. There we go. Nice controlled effort there. Um, let's go ahead and look at this center stack. Lots going on here, I know. Uh, nice little inset between here for this seven inch screen. Let's see if it's uh, touch screen or not. And it is not a touch screen. Okay, that's fine. Uh, all the information, as I remember before, is down here. So this, press enter. Now we're doing some movement up there. Okay, so there you go. Trip statistics, I'm gonna press okay. Looks like he did reset it when he dropped off the car. Wow, radio, okay, that's changing up there. Media, insert a disc. Telephone, okay, you can connect your phone to that via Bluetooth. My car, this is where I think you can explore this one, or is it, this looks like, oh, a web browser right there. Navigation, okay, so it shows where we are. I think I remember using this quite a bit the menu button, yeah, I like this a lot. So now you can, this is for navigation. Let's see, is there a back, an exit button there? Exit again. Okay, here's all the options you can go through. My car, enter. Obviously we're driving the XC60. Stats, drive E. Ah, that's what this car is too. Start stop technology, so when you come to a stop, you can change this to where I think it'll be more eco-friendly. Accelerate in an efficient way, avoid unnecessary cargo. This is my eco driving guide. Okay, a lot to explore there. Won't mess with that. Here, so we can adjust our seating position. Got a heated steering wheel down below. Right there, camera. Ah, here we go. I hit the camera button and it popped this up, shows where the camera is located on the car. Obviously they're in the back. I'm gonna hit it again, see if it turns it off. Nope, different angle. Okay, a couple angles there, down and all the way back. Looks like the usual suspects here on the steering wheel. This looks like it's, um, oh, for cruise control. I can set our cruise control here and adjust, oh, there we go. I hope you can see this, I'm gonna zoom in. This is one of those adaptive cruise controls where you can set the distance between you and the car in front of you. Back and closer. Left hand side, got your gas cap release, automatic lift gate or the trunk release. Two cup holders there. And in here, you do have a USB port, auxiliary port inside there. Kind of a nice deep container space. 
we have the platinum edition on this car so we have the sunscreen that opens up goes back for the passengers in the back and one more time it lifts it and slides it back bright sunny day currently 52 degrees here in North Spokane Washington close that up these seats are extremely comfortable leather nice bolstering here on the side on both sides so you can see that there nice this is a beautiful car luxury and all-wheel drive capability so off-road is an option if you so desire I don't know if you noticed but the car sits up quite a bit look how much rubber we have above the rim uh, a lot more than I just had what I have I had the uh, Kia Sportage both had the same size wheels but the Kia Sportage had lower profile tires these have a lot more tread on them here is the moment of truth how much room is back here now I have adjusted the seat a little bit forward I don't think it's exactly in my position yet I'm 511 and yet I still have plenty of room between my knees and the back of the seat and there is a bit of an indent here kind of a cutout for your leg room that's good headroom well with that panoramic sunroof it makes it easy here's a different angle let's move around yeah look at that even if you didn't have it this is a huge huge cabin space again it's been it's been a while since I've been in one of these Volvos so we're gonna get some more of these in the future because they just did a switch between um, distributors and now we get to have Volvos this is great cup holders right there that fold out nice armrest back here and now it's just a, a flat surface it says here you can raise this oh look at that cool all right leave it right there space wise though five passenger luxury crossover suv space wise here you can see that i'm obviously sitting up higher now that i've moved to the middle uh headroom's not a problem but uh, a little more firm here in the center spot and room for another third adult so i think you can certainly get three six footers back here and uh two no problem with plenty of comfort let's go ahead and look now at your cargo room and trunk space of this vehicle i've been on a couple of press tours of volvo and i really like their design especially on the exterior really beautiful design language as they say here with these tail lights okay now i'm going to use the button here in the key fob to open the lift gate and this is pretty fast watch this double click or I'll just hold it down. Look how fast that is. I had to test that earlier just to make sure I knew what it was. There's our card room. I don't have the numbers, but it looks like it's in the high teens uh, behind this back. Actually, probably in the 20s now that I look at it. A lot of room. Oh, look at this. What is this? Oh, I know what this might be. Let's say you had some uh, some groceries. I'm just guessing. You want some groceries, you put them back here. Ah, stays safe so it's not uh, sliding around, my guess. Underneath, another compartment, and even another compartment for a spare tire and jack kit. So you got that going for you, which is nice. Oh, it's going to be fun this week. So excited to have Volvo as part of our lineup now push button here close it up so the estimated fuel economy rating on this vehicle is 19 city 27 highway Volvo is looking for a mixed driving number of 22 MSRP is just over forty three thousand dollars but we have almost nine thousand dollars worth of extras on this car namely that platinum edition so what you see right here just over fifty two thousand dollars I'm going to drive it for a full week, give you some real-world miles per gallon examples, do a thorough investigation into that uh, center stack and all the technology involved because uh, I have high hopes for this car. And because it's all-wheel drive, we'll have to think about how we can uh, showcase that. Until next time, I'm Dave Erickson with Everyman Driver. Thanks for watching this Just Arrived video of the 2016 Volvo XC60 T6 all-wheel drive.